Hey everyone, welcome back to Manual Plus. Today, we're elaborating the usage and pairing of Govi H5040 Wi-Fi water sensors alarm. Let's get started. Let's have a quick overview. Wi-Fi gateway. Wi-Fi pairing button. Connect the gateway to WeR. 433 pairing button. Connect the gateway to the water leak detector. LED indicator. Show status of the gateway. Water leak detector. Sensor contact. Detect water drip. Sensor probe. Detect water leak. Push button. Pause alarm. I adjust volume. Batteries. 2 AAA battery. Inside the box. Water leak detector. Wi-Fi gateway. 3A battery. User manual. Service card. Checking the water leak detector. Insulation sheet removal. Press the button and the detector beeps one later, indicating it works well. If not, please open the back cover via a PHOO or PHO screwdriver to replace new batteries. Adjust alarm volume by pressing the button twice within one second and the indicator will flash quickly. The volume level cycles through high, medium, low mute and default volume is high. The detector will alarm if you drip some water on the sensor contact or put it on the surface with water. Press the push button to stop alarm for 5 seconds. Remove the device from water and wipe it up to stop alarm completely. When the battery is low, the device sounds DDD and flash red slowly. Installing your device. Plug the gateway into a power outlet. Lay the water leak detector flat. Keep distance between the gateway and the detector less than 60 meter or 197 feet. Preparation before connecting. A Wi-Fi router supporting the two, 4 gigas and 802.11b slash GFN bands. Most of 5G HC routers can also be set to two, 4 gigahertz band or dual band. Make sure Wi-Fi name and password are correct. A smartphone or tablet supporting two, 4 GHz network. Download the app named Govi Home from the App Store in iOS devices or Google Play in Android devices. Connecting to a Wi-Fi network. Connect your phone to 2, 4 GHz network. Notice, Android device users should tum on location and iOS users should tap setting then Govi Home then location then always in your phone. Open Govi Home. Tap plus icon in the top right corner and select H5040. Press and hold Wi-Fi pairing button for 3 seconds. The gateway will get ready to connect to Wi-Fi when the indicator flashes blue slowly. Follow on screen instructions in the app to complete the connection. Connected to Wiffle successfully. The indicator keeps solid blue and you can find the water leak detector in the device 11th. The indicator keeps solid red if it failed to connect to Wi-Fi. Notification setting. App notification. Open the app, select water leak detector in the device list and tap the setting icon in the tap right corner. Email notification. Open app and tap my profile and in the lower right corner notification settings. Add or re-add water leak detector. Press the 433 pairing button and hold for 3 seconds. The gateway will get ready to pair when the indicator flashes red and blue alternately. Put the detector nearby the gateway. Press the push button and the detector will send pairing signal. This is gateway to receiving signal. The gateway has paired with the water leak detector. Swipe down the device 11th page in app to refresh and you can find the new added device. If the gateway fails to pair to the detector in 30 seconds, its indicator will flash blue quickly and it will exit the pairing mode. There's one second delay for beep sound after you press the push button. Please check the above steps and try again if pairing falls. Specifications Troubleshooting The GAT, UE cannot connect to WeR or the connection is unstable. Check the name of the network and password. Place the gateway within coverage of the router signal. No obstructions like metal door or wall between the gateway and the detector are suggested. The water leak detector cannot work. 
Pull out the insulation sheet before using. Open the back cover via a PHOO or PHO screwdriver. Remove and reinstall the battery. Check whether the battery is running low. No auto laid notification in the app. Make sure that Android device users turn on location and iOS users select setting then govy home then location then always in the phone. Keep the distance between the gateway and the detector as close as possible. No obstructions between the gateway and the detector is suggested. The time interval between two water detection should be longer than 905, otherwise, the app won't push notification. Check whether the indicator of the gateway flashes when the detector is triggered. If not, please re-add the detector. Keep devices work temperature within 32 degree to 140 degree and humidity below 90% RH. Do not disassemble devices violently. Thanks for tuning in with Manuals Plus today. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more handy tutorials. Catch you in the next video.